Hello, hello. I think I need to adjust some things because the music I had to like really crank up, but then I turned the volume down and it's it's a mess. Um oh yeah, also look what I figured out how to do. It tracks. <laughs> oh my gosh. I learn something new every day. Um but yeah. Um if it isn't obvious by the beret, it is art day. <laughs> um we're gonna try and make a little bit more of a dent in live 2D. And then uh depending on how long or how far I get in that before I hit another wall, uh, we will do other art <laughs> or something. I don't know. The The game plan for today is very uh, lax, <laughs> and I'm fine with that personally. But yeah, let's turn my face to pinch. All right, um, let's see here. First, I'm going to turn on other music. Get a bit in. Uh, no, it is not. Let's see here. Properties. You. This. There we go. Music. Down a pinch. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Random music. Um, let's see. This screen where everything is happening. <laughs> um, it is a mess but don't mind it because i am still i'm still baby okay hello hello oh no oh wait no there it is i was looking at the wrong thing it was like why is it not capturing my voice it is it is it's fine um gosh these are so far away from me <laughs> anyway let's see here um so i've admittedly procrastinated again <laughs> so i don't um I only can go a little bit further technically uh, before having to like watch more videos explaining things, but you know, we'll, we'll get to that point first. Um, and that point first is actually make a whole bunch of like maps and stuff. Um, oh gosh, this doesn't. Folder ing does it. components um we will first i'm gonna make uh folders galore maybe that'll help oh gosh nope not what i meant to click this <laughs> why are they right next to each other that's something for people i'm gonna worry about it today um okay that one, we got, we got this, the itty bittiest little, little mouse that you can ever find. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was able to figure out how to make this at least, you know, readably big. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, but I know it's not visible anyway. This up here. <laughs> I don't know. We're figuring stuff out. Um, let's see. Here. Back, back, back. I have too many things on this desk. Gosh dang. Working on the corn? Exactly. It will one day be alive. We will finally have Franken-corn. <laughs> it will be alive. Gosh darn it. Let's see here. Doop doop. I think I was supposed to do that beforehand. Um. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I really want to deal with it right now? I probably should. This will make things so much easier on myself. I'm a fool. Anyway, we're opening this. <coughs> I'm sorry, you got something in my throat. I ate something very dry, and now I cannot breathe, I guess. staying hydrated. It decided to get very hot today. Here. I feel like, I think, thank you for the drunk water. I, I need to drink a lot of water today. <laughs> Should get a different cup. Drink vessel. My face tracking doesn't like me when I use this one. 
but I don't know. Keeps things nice and cool longer, so we're dealing with it. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, making a whole bunch of. Gosh, it's so tiny. It's so hard to see. <laughs> there it is. Anyway, making folders. Am I a fool? I think I'm a fool. No. Here. Not merge. Weird. <laughs> Am I- I might just be an idiot. It's okay. That's different. Haha. Uh -huh. This program does not have files. That's goofy. Oh, I see. That pops it out. Back in. <laughs> Get back in there. Okay. Okay. Uh, today on, I don't know how to uh, function as a member of society. <laughs> it's fine. We're learning. We're learning. Mood, yeah. Oh, it was that easy. All right. Okay. It just calls it something goofy. Good group. There we go. <laughs> I'm just a fool. Um, 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 face. the face, but it is now the head. <laughs> oh no, when did that get there? Oh gosh. Where is that on? Get out of here. Get down. <laughs> I was like, nope. Please don't tell me it's on the corn. Okay, good. At least there's that. Hallelujah. Saved, figured it out. <laughs> Not want that on there. Alright, alright, alright. It's now. <laughs> Ed. Okay. Uh, I guess each arm will be its own. For the best. G. Uh, thank you for sticking with me as I do like the most basic things. 
So I wonder if I have them in a group like this, maybe I don't need to like separate it out like this. Maybe, maybe that'll help. <laughs> like if I assemble it in here and then it just notes. Horn. Oh, hey now. Oh, hey now. It's left leg. Right leg. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why does it do this? All right. All right, all right, all right. This might be good now. <laughs> um, try assembling it. See if we can. At least save a little space. There. There. Here. Uh, how gremlin do we need this? More. Stanced out. I also added filling in each of the, like, the, the face bits, so that if it moves it's not gonna be just, like, a weird void behind it. I guess it will be, but it's at least, like, a it-makes-sense kind of thing. There. Head. Gosh. What the heck? <laughs> Excuse me. There we go, now it's just that. I just am bad at, uh, <laughs> I guess touching the screen, I think, is what's really causing all that on accident. Whoops. Open mouth. Closed mouth. Right, I uh, assemble. Assemble. Oh, this one has it too. Well, it's a good thing I'm catching it, I guess. Eyebrow. Woo. I need to subdivide the eyebrows and stuff. Who knows? I think I will. Just for my own sake. <laughs> there we go. Oh gosh, what the heck is this one? What's the other bit it, it's attached to? What? Oh, very faint. Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> we good? We good. There we go. Free eyebrow. Bring a 
bit. It doesn't need to be too close because then I can at least like swing the arms out a bit. There we go. Wait. Cancel that. Scoot the whole thing down, honestly. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Got our little guy. Face, we add a and then eyebrows separate. I know this makes sense. Uh, brain processing. <laughs> What's up with this one? Oh no. Oh, I guess it just didn't update. It's saying there's a whole bunch, but there is not. See how this works. <laughs> okay. Instead of just having it chill out like this. Nope. Have way too many things. Where the heck? Okay. I just saved. Okay. Final thing we export as. <laughs> yes. I guess. Maybe it was already saved as that. I think it was. <laughs> Whatever. Now we've got it. Okay. Bonk. Brand new model. See how it peered out better. seems to be the same. <laughs> Alright, I did the extra work for nothing. Whatever. <laughs> it's all learning. <laughs> okay, well, that answers one question, I guess. This, yeah. Let's 
yeah, it's the same things. Um, oh, okay. Never mind, it did actually fix some stuff. go okay okay it looks so dorky in this phase um let's see here thing we have to do we we gotta we gotta map it all out Just this one. Okay. Cancel. Oh. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> I'm a fool. Pausing this. We're gonna. We're gonna. This. Figure out what the heck. We're watching. Hello everyone and welcome to my second story. This area here has all been into that right now. Uh, the inspector is generally a informational tool for the part that you've selected. There's a bit of multiply as well. The edit texture atlas button is for oh. <laughs> your face rig. Basically you do need a texture atlas so that the face rig so is recognized right as being the set images that are making up your face rig. It's it's like a texture for 3D modeling, effective layer. Scroll down and then hold down and press shift and just highlight it all. Then just go and click on edit texture atlas. I make it a little bit bigger than, than the standard. I wouldn't go well, I, I screwed up on that front already. Um, go in here. Hmm. Doesn't mine show up in fancy little whatevers? This, I will. Hmm. Okay. Uh, why is it double size? Any larger than that, because I feel like that would lag out face rigs, so just be careful. I see that. why it's that big. I get it. Just leave it as is. But if you wanted to, feel free. Let's just call it, say, jelly, and we can go OK. And as you can see, all of the layers are now displayed in this texture atlas. This is quite important to do because, like I say, Face Rig needs to know what your layers are and what they look like. So just go on OK and that will... OK button. <laughs> With that... There's an OK button! <laughs> I guess the, the screen must just be too big, but... Yeah. There is an OK button. Can confirm. <laughs> Let's turn the music back on. We're jamming again. Move a little bit farther. I don't really need it to be that long. Though. Hmm. Okay. Is it gonna make the thing really big? Is my turn? okay? <laughs> Make those less obvious. There's this. All right, all right. Uh, then she woes the next step. Um, 
more more learning. Well, <laughs> but yeah, at least we have the basics, and then we got a uh, warp deformer. All. Oh. Wait, no. Do we 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 got to do this first? Um. Yes. Wait. Uh, standard. There we go. <laughs> so many dots. How little. How does little look? Eh. Cursed. Yeah, this step is the cursed step. Um, that just seems to be what it is. I think we'll do standard. Make the corn as uh, whatever as it can get. All right, then. Uh, uh, confirm. Add. No. I'm a fool. Confirm. Oh, then you can just X out of it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Shows how much I paid attention when I watched this earlier. Cool. All right, we we've got a this, and then let's see here. The next step is all of it. All. <laughs> We can, we can wiggle. We can wiggle! <laughs> and then it's just a whole bunch of warp deformers from here is my understanding. Let's see here. Got... I... Uh... Figure out how the... Eyes... Uh. Does each eyebrow need its own, or can it be in the same one? I think it can be in the same one. I don't know. I guess it'll have to be, kind of. Makes sense. If it can be. Um. Uh. Alright. Let's see here. We'll, we'll start with putting them together. Let's see here. Corn needs its own. Just the corn and the the head. We'll 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 tear them. <laughs> uh, but also the mouth should be part of the face. Mouth. Mouth. Gotta go. Oh gosh. Huh? I think I know. Do this. There we go. <laughs> it, it wasn't full screened, it was like extra full screened. There we go. Alright. And the face obviously needs one. Head, yeah. This one should probably higher tier than everything else on the face. Uh, excuse me. There. Or not. Okay. Fine. Put these ones inside the Eyebrows. Head. Ooh. Hmm. 
Then... Delete. Yes, it does the whole thing. Good. <laughs> right, and then the arms. Oh gosh. All these points. This doesn't technically need that many, but you know, I'm gonna have that many. Um, alright. Arm. Arm. Uh, corn also needs one. <laughs> all, all the things. Legs. Leg. Okay. Okay. Again, somewhere, maybe. We can wiggle. This is the button for that. Okay, middle click is what you you pan around with. It's different for every single program, you know? Okay. Let's see here. We've got, we've got the all. And, oh yeah, stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> got a face. Good. Working. We're figuring it out. I'm just having fun messing around with this at this point, you know? Okay. Like. Oh, so many things. We got a form of this kind. Head rotation. Somewhere on here. Wait. Oh, no. That's not what I want to do. Goodness. I... Oh, I just want to scoot the gosh darn head rotation. No. <laughs> Look above. There we go. Okay. You, you hold control. Wap, 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 wap. <laughs> Can't move too much though, otherwise it's just gonna not exist. Ooh. Oh, to have a 360 spinning head. <laughs> okay, okay. Got I've got that much. Let's see here. The arms use a rotation. itself just needs scooched. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! 
<laughs> I'm tootin'. <laughs> it's gonna look jank regardless. That's just... I have lost the ability to scoot. You know, as happens. Um, we won't we won't worry about it then. <laughs> Get a rotation on this one. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, I see. You can also... Let's go, go back. You know. Not what I want to do. Although that might actually help a bit. Make the rotation maybe small. That goes. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Get finicky. Fuzzy enough will it do something? Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm doing something incredibly wrong. <laughs> they make it look so easy. Scoot it, you know? My gosh, please. This arm is significantly fatter. What the heck did I do? Then? That. I mean, it's still gonna be janky, but I'm here. Then? Just remove it, please. Make it real big. Please, why am I suffering? Just do. Oh gosh. I did something and I don't like it. Cancel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What 
if we just delete this and start over? Yeah. Nope. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. It's not the end of the world, but like it, it thinks that it's the opposite direction. There we go. Okay, that one you click. But same. Oh, sure, now I can move it. Cool. <laughs> Why? Why do I struggle? Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Arms. Done. <laughs> at least for now. Uh, we gotta rotate the legs a little bit, at least. Claw. Now I think it is the time that I have to actually look at Oriole again. <laughs> All right. Back up here. Working with it. Well, all our parts are here with the parameter that stuff. The window here. A little bit of the warp deformers, but I think that's yeah. Hey there, guys, and welcome to another one of these Lie 2D tutorials where we will start preparing our face rig for rigging. With oh boy! Here. So I very quickly introduced the deformer window here. What I would start with is press the very bottom of your layer list and then hold down Shift and press the very top of your list again, so we have it selected. Now, so that's a very subtle movement. I did way more stuff on their model, so, uh... <laughs> it's still under the main body, Bezier handles, to, to give you the subtle Trying to scroll. <laughs> movements and deformations you need. So, of course, this means I can make the face look to the left, make it look to the right, that kind of stuff. But I will say... I think I might want to move the highlights of the head to the the head deformer that we're going to make right now. Going to make a separate one. So I'm just going to literally face. select the the head highlights, which you can see here, and I'm going to just take them out of the warp deformer. 
There you go. You're not stuck with the there deformer. We go. You so. can drag and drop things outside of the deformer Good if thing. you need to. So next we're going to uh, just make a deformer for the head. And it's already named head. Let's create it. An operation to a part of the face rig. Since this is the head, this is the most common. If you want to change the, Not the wobblies. location anchor point, I think that's usually what you would call it, an anchor point. But, you know, it, it's, it's better, I think. Let's just keep it like that. Now, of course, as you noticed, as we were rotating this, the face is still in place. It's because the deformer of the face is above the head itself. So the way to fix this is, is you can just select the whole entire face deformer and then add it under the head rotation. Yay! Like <laughs> Learning. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. It's now moving with the head. If you select the warp deformer of the body, the head stays stationary. It doesn't get squished. Which might not be a bad thing, really. Um, but if you wanted a little bit more control over the head itself, combine the face with the head here, the head deformer. So then you can actually squish it down like this. Because before you wouldn't have been able to have done that before. <laughs> you would have squished down the head. And the face wouldn't squish. To show that again, you can combine the, the face deform. This is quite crucial if you want to make a certain perspective of the face. I keep like wanting to scroll, face, but it's a video. <laughs> which we will get into soon. But it is quite important to be able to do whatever you want with it. You can move it around like this, but you can also mold it to whatever angle that you want. When we start making the, yeah, I don't need all of these deformers for specific parts. So I'd say that the I don't know. Pretty much done. Now next, I have these little patterns going on with the body to just make more deformers anyway. We got that as well. Let's just make sure extra that stuff that I did not do. Our rig to. More tu tutorial slide. Amateur basics. Okay, welcome back, guys. We we are going to go into the parameters. This scary looking thing here. Ugh. We're going to talk about literally what each parameter does in terms of face rig, and show you the process of what you should do really with them. So first off, we have in the previous video sorted out the warp deformers and we've added a rotation as well for the head a rotation deformer so effectively everything is set up for rigging in the parameter window if you're feeling a little bit fish out of water right now please do watch the previous videos that i've made on how to use my 2d and how to make i am rig. such a fish um, out of water <laughs> you up to date with what we've been doing with the warp deformers and was the volume okay on the video basics of how it's used. So yeah, to move on to the parameters here, we We're have in. the X and Y angle and the Z angle. These are quite crucial for the movement of your face rig. The angle Z is for the rotation of the head, so what we just did, the rotation here, would be used for angle Z. So hmm. X and Y is all about the left, right, and up and down motions of your character's all right, all right. head or body, because you can still rig the body completely. I do this myself. You can completely rig the body to move oh. as a corresponding movement with your head. There is another parameter, a set of parameters here called body X, body Y, and body Z. This is something I haven't touched. I, I don't use these. But I do assume mm. that these can be used with face rig to create the motion of a body where it's kind of lunging towards you or moving backwards and mm. that kind of thing. It's more of a body movement. 
set of parameters. But it's something I've never really bothered with because I've always put the body parameters mixed with the head parameters for, I, I guess it just seems easier for me to do. So and if yeah, you're making like, a little slime character, I guess it makes sense. Anyway, these three parameters here are very important. But probably for something for really depth, you'd rate. want those body so, to be separate. First things first, we want this X and Y to merge together so we can get efficient and smooth movement hmm. from the head turns that we do. This little hook here, this little hook icon here, it says link parameters as well as a highlight. So just click on that and it links both X and Y yeah. together. This allows, like I say, for smoother movement overall. If you don't link it together, the left and right and up and down movements won't have like the corners here. So it will seem very kind of robotic in the way it moves and it gotcha. won't be as smooth as you'd like. So I do recommend linking these two together for a better result. Currently, we have no keyforms in this parameter. We can add keyforms to this. Keyforms are like keyframes um, in animation. I know and the gist of that. <laughs> the warp performer of the head. If you've made it correctly, everything should be together like this. The face and everything. Here we have these buttons. This one allows you to add two keyforms. This one allows you to add three keyforms. And these also allow you to delete all keyforms in a parameter. And this actually allows you to edit keyforms manually. I rarely use this one. Uh, show only the parameters active for selected objects. Again, I don't really use this either. But it can be good to hide things. Like, say, for example, I'm going to click on the free keyform button. And, and as you can see, it's made literally free keyforms for every angle. So now that we've created a keyform for the warp deformer of the head here, okay, we can hide everything. So if you're someone like me who gets a little bit scatterbrained because there's so many things listed and it kind of distracts you, you can single out what you're working on. In so if you're someone like oh, me okay. who gets a little it was bit scatterbrained because there's so many things listed and it okay. kind of distracts you, you can single out what you're working on in this way which i think is really nice so yeah to explain what's going on here okay imagine that this key form here this is the default position for your face rig so when you load up face rig your character will be staring right at you this here this key form here is the left and the same goes um. for the right here this will be your right side when you turn your head and okay. again, this is you looking up, and this is you looking down. And these are kind of like the in-betweens of the motion. You have the head turning left, but mm. the head looking up left. The head looking to the right, looking up and right. So hopefully you understand what I mean by that. We can start making some simple get the gist with this. Also, you do this, but you can snap to a keyform by clicking the right mouse button. Oh, okay. So it's that makes exactly it easier. where it should be on the keyform. Okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> trying to match it to the shape. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah, no. I was trying that just now. And it will snap right to the keyform. We're going to start doing some basic movements so we can establish the keyforms a little better. Uh, we're going to start off with making keyforms for the up, down, right, and left. We're going to start with the oh. left, like I say, right click on the keyform so it's exactly where it needs to be. And you can use the arrow keys while you have the warp performer selected to move it to the side. You can also use the mouse, but sometimes it's nicer to have a bit more of a uniform movement. So if we move this thread circle, we can now see that there's movement. The face rig, if you were to load this up in face rig right now, when you turn your head, it will always move to the left, like this. So yeah, now we have to do it to the right. Move the head to the right. Too much. <laughs> Might make it a little bit more exaggerated, so let's just bring it to the left like that. Bring it to the right like that. We've got the up motion, so we're going to move the head up. And then we've got the down motion, which we're going to move the head down. 
So you can edit this however you want, to make it work however you want it to work. So you're thinking, well, okay, so we've done these key things, but what about the corner ones? Wiggle, wiggle, it's not wiggle. Really <laughs> as smoothly as it could. Well, if you click on the lines here, go on synthesize corners. Don't click on anything, keep it the same, click OK. And now it's actually done the work for you. Uh -huh. So we've got the basic movement down for the head. For this head. So if you were to put that into face rig right bye, now, bye, 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 bye. and you move your head, it will do this. Yay! So moving on to <laughs> angle Z. We need to add three keyforms to this parameter because we need a default position here in the middle. So again, we, we highlight the head rotation. Make sure that angle Z is highlighted and click on add free keyforms. So the left keyform here is the left rotation. The right keyform is obviously the right. So now, if we were to play around the angle Y and uh, X, it's actually rotated already for you. So again, if your head was rotating, it would make this kind of movement. At this point, I would say definitely tweak it if you feel like the the rotation of it is a bit too drastic. This one. Or if the uh, yeah. the movement of the head is too drastic, I'm already seeing that it might be a little bit too uh, pronounced. So I'm just going to bring it to the middle a little bit more. Uh, I think the left and right is fine. This one. But of course, if you edit the top this? one, you'd have to edit the rest. Um, having said that, though, if you just edit the top keyform to where you want it to be, edit the bottom keyform yeah, to where you want it buttons. to be, and so on, all you have to do is go on the synthesize corners again, and it will redo everything for you again. It's a really handy tool. Why is it not saving? The deformer, but the head rotation needs to be above. Gosh. What am I doing? Oh gosh. There. Head rotation, this. This, that, oh. okay, um, hmm. Okay, this. When I right click, it pulls up extra stuff. Oh, stop. <laughs> Was this supposed to be? Mm. Okay. Side of the head. Okay, if that's supposed to be like straight up. Um, let's see here. Perfectly. Okay. I see. I get it. I wasn't supposed to scoot these necessarily. I'm learning. Only this could be easier. Gosh. <laughs> Thought I was doing something smart. I wasn't. Turn on music for a second.
replies to that? We don't, I don't know. There we go. Legs. Fix these. Weird. will be zero degrees. <laughs> I will make it so. Okay. At zero, all the things. That show. Great. For this. Some tweaks. The rotation of it is a bit too drastic. So the left keyform here is the left rotation. The right keyform is obviously the right. Why wasn't it saving? Okay. Head rotation. This. This. That. Okay, it works now. It works now. We've solved it. <laughs> okay, keep them at zero, I guess. Um, surprise. Okay. So now, if we were to play around the angle Y and uh, X, it's actually rotated already for you. Uh -huh. So again, if your head was rotating, it would make this kind of movement. At this point, I would We're say there. definitely tweak it if you feel like the the rotation of it is a bit too drastic. Can't move the head too much because it's or stuck in the, the, uh, uh, the corn. The of the head is too drastic. The, mouth, uh, the, the circle right the here, the rotation marker. Uh, pronounced. It look so I'm just gonna bring it like I don't know. I have a goatee or something. The left and right is fine. But of course, if you edit the top one, you'd have to edit the rest. Um, having said that, though, if you just edit the top keyform to where you want it to be, edit the bottom keyform to where you want it to be, and so on, all you have to do is go on the six size corners again, and it will redo everything for you again. It's a really good yeah, tool for making small tweaks, really. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how it's rotating and the head's done. So Yay. with that, guys, that was the introduction to angle X and angle Y and angle Z. I hope that was useful. We'll be moving on to making the eyes blink. So I hope to catch you in the next one. If you found this useful... It's eye time. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my next tutorial video about how to make blinking eyes for your face rig on Live 2D. So I made a folder called eye parameters. You don't have to do this, but I did it for my own well-being really. I stuck with the eye right open, brow right form, brow right angle, brow right x, brow right y, eye right smile. I never you... used this, I will say, but I did want to use it as an example as to what you can oh, do I see. with deleting parameters. If you okay. don't want a pre 
parameters. You don't have to do this, but I did it for my own well-being, really. I stuck with the I write open, brow write. Okay. this it's mine uh oh i see okay sticking this right there shoving everything Um, get a uh, smile. This angle, yes. Or Oh, and some this one uh, up here. Okay, no, certainly we won't. There we go. I R. Uh, open. Smart. Uh, da -da -da -da. brow, brow, angle, and form. Form angle. Uh, they have an X, Y, just so that I'm not getting confused by what they're doing. Y. Scoot. Uh, there's nowhere else to really scoot this. <laughs> Second, smooch smaller set. At least my stuff is visible. Um, hmm. All right. Open form angle X Y smile. Open form angle X Y smile. Form brow right angle brow right X brow right Y I right smile. I never used this, I will say, but I did want to use it as an example as to what you can do with delete parameters. If you don't want a parameter, and in which case I have filtered out all the left eye parameters, you can highlight a parameter, click on the trash can, delete eye right smile, yes. You can also okay. do it with the right click and select and delete too. So you can do that if you want to. Uh, just to kind of let you know about the folders as well, you can make a folder. You have to, for some reason, click on the right mouse button to drag it to where you want it to be, and then you can highlight what. I didn't have to use the right mouse button. They fixed that. <laughs> holding down control and clicking. Yeah, they're using version 4.0.03. It it's on at least 4.0. And click on the yeah. folder icon itself to open it up. For your parameters you can also Oop. double click it and rename it to in this case mouth and it's a really good way of just organizing your parameters without getting too confused uh so yeah i did end up removing all of the left eye related parameters and stuck with the right eye the reason why i've done this is because I feel that face rig at this moment in time, maybe it's different with animes in the future, because animes isn't out yet while I'm making this video. Uh, blinking, say with one eye open and one eye closed, 
is not really possible to do with Interesting. The, the current facial recognition that face rig has at least for me anyway it's been i i don't really have the ability to do it the way to tackle other little peculiarities i've been getting here and there with face rigs as well because another issue that i had was looking down and one of the eyes being slightly closed and the other one wide open so it looked <laughs> a little bit strange you mean I, me I when i unlink my eyes just like making sure that the eyes closed exactly when i wanted them to close and that is to focus on the one eye parameter you don't need to worry about the other eye parameter sticking with the one eye parameter in this case the right eye for me i was able to every time my right eye closes it closes both of the eyes on your face rig that was a thing i feel was quite important to me whether or not you use the I mean, eye right or the eye You're using like the, the fancy iPhone like tracking. I think this isn't as much of an issue. Right, it will work anyway. Cuz I know um, that there are plenty of speaking, models that can track right. and it at... should by rights work the same <laughs> for you. For basic stuff, I guess. Well. Another thing also you can't do is undo the deletion of parameters, which is really strange. Oh, Again, weird. I don't know why they've done that in the software, but either way it is what it is. Uh, so, we currently have the warp deformer for the eyes, which we're not going to use for this. We are going to use the eye piece to resize and squish down into a eye closed state. Uh, just to let you know, I've also made a warp deformer for the mouth shape. So we've got the tongue and mouth and the closed mouth state needed to do that too so if if you're following along be sure to do that as well so yeah we we've hidden the other eye because we don't need that right now but we're going right. to we gotta we gotta separate the eyes one. um Gosh, I doesn't look like a word anymore. Um, or your set it out one. Let's see here. I just wanna. I just wanna rename this. Okay. Alrighty. An eyelid highlight eye right open parameter and use the add two key forms button. Now we got key forms for these two pieces. Only highlight the eye one, use the red bounding box here. Whoa there, buddy. I open um keyframe? Yeah. Okay. And then for the eye one open. And squish it down. Squish it. At closed. Squish okay. it down equally too, like I am right now. Also make sure that it's on the right key form as well. I tend to very often forget <laughs> about where to put the key form motion, so um Make sure that it's not like here and make sure it's on this side because this is left uh, being the closed eye state and this is the right being the eye open state. We've now squished it down to where the eyelid is. We're just going to stretch it out a little bit more to the side. Make sure that it's still behind the eyelid and then we'll have it open like this. So it squishes appropriately to the shape of the eyelid closing. Now of course you're looking at this thinking well that's still there how do I get rid of it? Well we're going to highlight the eyelid here. We've already made keyforms of it because we selected both of the two together and pressed the buttons. It We've got keyforms for it already. To, to know whether or not a part has key forms it's it's the fact that the circles here are green as you can see here there's no key forms for 
this parameter or this parameter because we didn't add key forms for that particular eyelid. If you did want to though, it's all a simple case of just clicking the parameter and pressing again, create key form buttons here. But we don't need to do that for this anyway. It's just a little bit of information about it. We, we have him opening and closing his eyes. We need to highlight the eyelid, select this, this key form. And we're going to lower the opacity. This is where this inspector comes in handy. So if you lower it down to zero, it's disappeared. But okay. as you can tell, there's a bit of fading in and out going on here. We can stop the fading in and out sooner by adding another keyframe. Again, with the eyelid highlighted, go and click on this, add single keyform and then bring the opacity down to zero again. So it kind of almost creates a bit of a snap to the closed eye state. Now you may want to adjust this Interesting. how you see fit because sometimes with face rig it kind of gets a little bit, because of the opacity effect, it, it sometimes gets a little weird. Wink. In fact, <laughs> Wink. out of practice really, what I would do normally is get it as close to this keyframe as possible, then make the keyframe and bring mm -hmm. it all down to zero. And there you have like the, the snap of the uh, the eyelid reappearing again. So now we have an eye blink. But I'm going to unhide this eye here and we're going to lower the opacity of this eye. I'm going to use this as a guide for the duplicate there we of go. this eye. So how do you duplicate a already animated eye? You go on here. You click on the folder eyes that we have in place. Go on copy. Do you want to copy parts child objects? Always click yes, because then it will remember all the values you've given in this parameter. Now you've got that open for some reason. I don't know why they open it, but click on paste because it hasn't pasted yet. Click on this so that you can change the name of this so you don't get confused with the other folder. By the way, when you do rename anything in these dialog boxes, always press enter after you've typed it in. So yeah, we've got two eyes now. We are going to effectively highlight everything in this file. Just literally highlight everything. Now be careful what you select here. Always select it with the the cross with the arrows. Don't use the arrow, the uh, the cursor with the cross with arrows. Uh, make sure that it's this icon on your cursor so you can move it effectively. So what we're going to do... I did something goofy. I did something goofy. Needs to go out one. There. That's separate now, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh... This one still have everything. Uh, let's just re-warp to form it. <laughs> that one, maybe. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. What we're wanting to do... I did something goofy in here, didn't I? Um... Wanna copy... Da -ba -da, da -ba -da, paste. Okay, what did I do? 
It's probably different since mine isn't really symmetrical. Yeah, that's what's going on. We're just gonna we're just gonna animate it, you know. That back on. All right. We're just gonna. You know, it's practice. Um, let's see here. I hope. Let's see here. This one. Points. Very end here. This one. What did I do? I L. <sighs> I I've messed something up. Interesting. This one. done something wrong. <laughs> Dang, things were going so smoothly. Ugh. And how do I just like cut these out of there and create a new folder? This one. Okay. This thing work. The world may never know. Not attached, cool. Being I guess what I'm supposed to do is paste to these. Instead of doing that, we just scoot them over. Oh gosh. Oh. 
Okay. Just drag it to the other eye so that we can align it properly. The arrow, the uh, the cursor with the positive arrows. Uh, make sure that it's this icon on the cursor so we can move it effectively. So what we're going to do is drag it to the other eye so that we can align it properly. So there you go, you got your eye blink on the other side too. We're going to get rid of this though because we don't need it. I mean, and okay. The other one that we used as a guide. I want to flip to this one though. So yeah, those are the I do that. Select. Okay, there we go. Back. Then, there we go. Okay, there we go. We're, we're learning. There we go, that looks a little better. <laughs> We're learning. Okay. I'm gonna rename these. Okay, so there is no IL, basically. Interesting. Or at least not in this one. <laughs> That's fine. This is, this is the goofy one, you know? All right. The blinking eyes for your face rig. Very, very simple way of doing it. Putting it all into the one parameter will definitely make your eye blinks more consistent for your face rig. With that, guys, I hope that this tutorial... But what if I want to have eyes that just go wonky at every turn? Face rig? Uh... ...to a simple animated mouth for face rig. In the next video... We'll get the mouth going, and then I might switch to something else. Please, thumbs up the video. We have gone far. Any questions, of course, as always. Oh. Booth. All right, so we're going to be moving on to making the basic mouth shape for your face rig. There is another way of doing it, but I consider that more advanced. We're going to be starting off with something much simpler. So we have two different kinds of parameters. Open the and form. The mouth open mouth form needs three key things. One that's in neutral, one that's on the left which is the sad face, and one on the right which is the happiest face. So I'm just gonna move that up here because it should be there. We need to make this mouth move from this state to a sad state and a happy state. So again, we don't really need the deformers for this, we need to highlight the mouth here, click on, add three keyforms. We need to keep this one neutral, the one in the middle, but this one needs to be sad. Here's a tool that we've not looked into yet. This is the deform path edit tool. This will allow you to create additional points, kind of like a anchor point with the pen tool. I'd recommend about maybe about four or five points for this one. You can adjust the anchor points all the way down with the tool by just using the left click button. We're going to make 
to smell the heavy match. The match looks fine, I think. Now you need to get out of this pool for you to be able to use it. And then we can sculpt the match shape. Let's disturb. in neutral, one that's on the left, which is the sad face, that's what she's ordered. and the one on the right, which is the happiest face. So I'm just going to move that up here and see if it should be then. We need to make this smell move from this state to a sad state and a happy state. So again, we don't really need the deformers for this. We need to highlight the mouth here click on add three keyframes we need to keep this one neutral the one in the middle but this one needs to be sad here's a tool that we've not looked into yet this is the deform path edit tool this will allow you to create additional points kind of like a anchor point with the pen tool i'd recommend about about four or five points for this one. You can adjust the anchor points you've laid down with the tool by just using the left click button. We're going to make this mouth a heavy mesh and that looks fine I think. Now anchor points you've laid down with the tool by just using the left click button. We're going to make this mouth a Generator, okay. Okay. And auto. Heavy. Woo! Heavy mesh. And that looks fine, I think. Now you need to get out of this tool for you to be able to use it. And then we can sculpt the mouse shape okay. using these anchor points we've developed. This is why when I draw my mouth, I, I draw it straight. So I can then deform it to the way I want it to be. So here we have a, a sad face, a sad mouth, <laughs> and then, as you can tell, it will snap back to the original, and then we go to the far right and we can make a happy mouth. I tend to start with the corners and then drag them up gradually, then go to the middle this one. and curve it out. So now we have a happy mouth and a sad mouth and a neutral. Now we move on to the mouth open part. So you know, hey now, too fast. <laughs> okay. Where? Where? Doesn't move and why doesn't it move sometimes? Am I a fool? I might be a fool. Okay, okay. Mouth. Mouth. <laughs> Three key forms. Please. Sad. <laughs> Such a weird thing to ask. Be sad. Hmm? It's not it's not hinging. Why isn't it?
by so if I do this one W Not, it's not doing the thing. Ah. What? Let's. Here. We're gonna save. <laughs> I should be doing that every once in a while. Um, let's see here. I mean, we've gotten pretty far. We have most of a face. I guess I can do, gosh, how do I link things to, like, arms? Otherwise, they're just going to kind of, here. Um, hmm. I guess we'll learn that later. Uh, hmm. Guys. Far enough. Mm. Close enough? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. It's cute though. I like it. Uh hmm. Mouth form. Just cancel all that. Okay, mouth. About three points. B. Wait, no. This one is the one that I need. Oh gosh. Mouth form. There. Okay. Neutral. Some stuff. <laughs> right. Okay. And down here. Wait, no. Gosh. Um, okay. There. What's that? This one, this keyframe. Okay. Keyform. This. It will look sad, or so help me. Uh, oh, there. More downturned. Make this caterpillar go sad. Okay, there, it worked this time. Why does it only work sometimes? Music. I really should just have, like, elevator music going. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. See, and then smiley. Wiggle this caterpillar. All right. Wee wee. <laughs> That's pretty janky. Let's edit it a bit more. Ooh. It's not very smooth yet, is it? Yeah. It's cool seeing all of this working together. 
<laughs> so yank it over there. <laughs> Does that look good? I mean, not 100%, but... Woo, 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 woo. I think at the very least, I need a snack break. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> This point. I think as far as the day goes, we, we made progress on the unicorn. She is happy, you see. But also grumpy. <laughs> uh, need to figure out how to make that look smoother. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That looks a little better. Yeah. Okay. We're learning. Sorry, <laughs> stretching. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh. <laughs> Other art stuff? I can... Make something? No, what am I feeling right now? Real question. Any haha -ha funny video? <laughs> oh, we go. We go. Right. Yeah. I'll just doodle for a bit. I don't know. I guess give me a couple minutes to uh, get a snack a Rooney, and then we'll just kind of chill out for a while, yeah? Does that sound? Uh, yeah. BRB on, and I will be right back.
Howdy, I am back. <laughs> um, I've got- I got pizza. I decided I want to eat a little something, so maybe we should, uh, I don't know, watch something goofy for a bit. Let's see here. Yes? Thank you. Um, let's see here. Got, uh, in the- Stuff to watch we can do. I don't know, I pulled up Vishojo, but... Why not? <laughs> Best of March. Something decently short. No, we're gonna watch uh, the nine hour compilation. <laughs> Watched a little bit of it, but. July. Since it's, you know, recent and the whatnot. Oh gosh. Uh, one second. I need to fix one screen. <laughs> Didn't see anything. Hush. <laughs> this is gonna be big. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, we'll watch some stuff. I'll eat, and then we'll just doodle for a bit longer, and then we'll call it a day. Mongus. 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 There's a lot of dudes coming in me. Oh my. I did not. I, I'm, <laughs> I did not mean to say that. I swear. I swear to God. That, I mean, come on. Would I really make a joke like that? Would I? I'm smart. I'm wittier than that. Come on. Give me some credit. I would not do that. Um, for, I watched some of that on of last mana, Sunday. But I There's wanted, so I put up a warning. Oh, but yeah. we're not watching those right now. We could watch some Vinny. I, I am not gonna complain if we watch that. That's not fair. It's not fair! Can I have some height, please? Your height went. He's dead. Time to end this. Watch along. Okay, bye. Never playing Hanzo again. Never playing Hanzo again. Never. I feel that. <laughs> never. No, never. Never again. Never again. I'm just scared. Oh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I don't know how to play. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I have so many opportunities. I have so many. I'm so bad. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. Never playing. Never playing again. <laughs> Goodbye. Say play con. Oh no. Of course. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not smiling like an actual dum dum. This dum dum's not even funny. I don't know why it's tickling me so much. Oh we God. are all secretly five. Um, <laughs> so, actually, uh, Axel, stall. I gotta do something. Okay. Um, do you guys want to hear a story? Oh, oh god, no. Oh, god. That's no, 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 Why? My stories are good. What you on about? <sighs> they will love my, you guys love, like, my story, right? Wait, did Axel ever like ask you, hey, do you want to hear a story? Say no. Say no, please. Say Wait, no. Which, which one do you guys want to hear? Like, my favorite one, personally. No, no, no. No, no. Just, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh no. Hapa! Oh, that felt empowering. The lake gets here! No, it's like a river! Get out of here, Saru! 
Okay, just a little friendly hazing. <laughs> I got into anime before I knew anime was anime, and it was Dragon Ball Z. Saturday morning, 6.30 you know, a.m. That's cute. I think oh, that's cute. a lot of... Yeah, I didn't even know it was an anime back then. Like, I just started Dragon Ball Z all over your map. Around oh, come on. that time. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Hey, guy, hey, uh, world of peace. Hey, guy, hey, you know, this is the world of peace. This could happen. All we need is a hug. Why don't you let me out read a book? I don't trust this girl. Like, stop that. Like, I had a really good conversation with Axel about what games that we wanted to stream, and I think it was unanimous among us four as we were planning our first month that we wanted to play watchable games. Oh, of course. I didn't do it. Say the word. It's just, it's just the word that I use, man. Please don't train me to not use the word that I use. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you can I say the I'm word. The only one with a normal sleep schedule among the four. Ah, I keep saying it wrong. <laughs> Bonk him off of there, of course. <laughs> Let's see it coming a mile away. Ah ha ha ha. Swift. Me, all the time. We all saw it. Oh, you know. Show up over there either. Can we vote to pick members? <laughs> <laughs> you do see that there's two gyruses on this canvas. Can you guess which ca which gyrus is 80% drawn by me? Hmm, the bottom one, the right. I'm surprised everyone's kind of mixed. Yeah. This is not. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 How do you think I should punish them? It's not sitting right, but you know. Yeah, like you and then when you get thirsty you can just like drink their ins i see just drink their juices i see perfect okay that sounds wrong <laughs> 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 
cat ears. Is the cat ears like on the head or is it? I'm on, lagging like, like crazy now. Oh no! <laughs> There's too much power in this. What are you talking about? What? There's too much power in this. Please fix yourself. I know it means happy. I, you know, I thought of some other things. <laughs> I'm very gay that you were here today, Sana. I'm just saying, yeah. it was a golden gay time. It was indeed a golden gay time that we had together. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm glad. I guess adding the prop must have just like thrown it off. Rip. Clap made me cry. Big old tears. What's wrong? Look, who's that? My statue. Does that look right to you? You're sandwiched by two big boobas. You're just comparing too much. I think it's probably yeah, just comparing too much to the super size. Stop talking. Or Fauna. <laughs> Thank you very much for everything. <laughs> you guys are the only ones in the universe. Each and every single one of you are the only ones in the universe. Yeah. yeah. In incredibly grateful for giving me these smiles and being able to give these smiles to all of you as well. No. It's only been like a week, but Sana is forever. Hmm, thank you very much. I mean, the fact that it happened will never, ever change. Just like Sana is internal, eternal, our meeting is so, so eternal. That will never, ever, ever change. Aww. It's just fact. I love you all. You're all loved by the universe. Hmm. I'm not alone, and you aren't either. Thank you. Mm. Just sweetie. <laughs> not crying, you are. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Watch some Vinny to to make ourselves less uh everyone needs this, I, I don't think I saw this one on stream yes. at least. Thank you. Um we're gonna we're gonna put the text back up. Yes. Here. Palette cleanser. Yeah. Can, can you <laughs> look at Fox? <laughs> Get our tears back in order. I'm gonna start with Super Mario Galaxy. Oh my god, Mario. <laughs> it's already <laughs> amazing. This is Scrapped Crab Mario Power Up. That's the name of this one. That, that is a very stanky body you've got there, Mario. <gasps> oh my god. He's doing his Where best. Where was this copy of Mario Galaxy found? I appreciate the eyes like five feet above the head. Lobster. Uh, what's what's it? Red Lobster. Yeah, Red Lobster. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Meet Maurice. There's Maurice. <laughs> Looks like he's got a beard. Yeah. Oh my God. Why does the face change? You know. Maurice is dead. This really is literally a corruption where the character turns pink and dies. <laughs> the name of this is. Peak corruption. Oh my god. Bye. What, the music is in several different keys. No, oh, Rosalina fell off the observatory. Did you ever play Mario is Missing? Well, this is Mario is Mangled. <laughs> Miyamoto was upset that people just didn't see his vision. Truly. So he took eyes away from Mario so no one could see. More than eyes away. Oh my god. Woo! They don't call him Jump Fan. Jump 
a man jump band. <laughs> jump man jump Rich Evans jump thing. Luigi, I'm telling you, there's spaghetti in there. Oh, Mario, there's no spaghetti. I can almost see it. Oh, Mario, that's you. You're becoming the spaghetti. Why? Why is Mario making this much money? I tell you how he makes you know this much money. Money have laundering. Have you heard the word fungibel? When <laughs> you can have the money work for you. We make 30 monkey JPEGs and then we're out, Jesse. That's it. Just 30, Mr. White. Just 30. Let me do my impression in peace. I am up here doing impression. I am trying. You know what? Let me press the, the, the other funny button. We got a spin Ooh. in the fleet. I mean, corruption's in a nutshell, really. It's a classic. Oh my god. Uh, those are some good noises you got there, game. I need to press the funny button again. Because this is just happening. Mario is a skeleton. Oh goodness. And there's, yeah, there's bone noises. Bone noises. What would a bo bone noise be? A boins? <laughs> yeah, this is creepy pasta level. Making. <laughs> yeah, bone noise. <laughs> <laughs> well? He drowned. He drowned in the floor. The name of this corruption is The Bad Ending. I'm sorry, this is too amusing. Oh my god. Is Mario smoking? Dude, I thought you quit. Oh, you oh, know. Bowser Jr. has seen better days. Blum, blum, blum. Apparently this stick bug is Bowser. I thought it was Martin Scorsese. It was a squashed bug. <coughs> this is what my computer like when it was crashing. Oh. I swear, I, this is what it was like. Oh my god. You just gave me PTSD. Oh my no. My computer would sound like that when it was crashing before I had to build this new one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still alive, right? I'm here. <laughs> Star Fox Assault. The name of this corruption is Fox Use the Quake Engine. It's not like great controls because it's supposed to be a third person action game, but it, it works. It's a first person shooter in Star Fox Assault. We've remade 64, Star Fox 64 too many times, but this? <laughs> See, I wouldn't mind this game getting a remake. The name of this corruption is a different type of barrel roll. Oh my. In the description it says games repainted version. <laughs> Textures Look at totally that leg. He's stanky legging. Holy fuck. Yeah, I don't think we're getting past this blockade. Okay, Indeed. I guess... I guess I just don't have a choice to even play the game. <laughs> this is where we lost back up big enough. Uh-huh. We have arrived mm -hmm. at Pichina. <laughs> this is where we lost track up big enough. We have arrived at Pichina. We have arrived at Pichina. We have arrived at Pichina. Say, say it again. Oh, their faces are coming off. We have arrived Grounded at Pichina. <laughs> we have arrived at Pichina. <laughs> this is where we lost track of Pigma. Rob, scan the control center. Rob, Rob. Rob, Scan Rob. the control center. Rob. Scan the control center. <laughs> Fox. So oh my now. god, Fox. Rob. Scan Rob. 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 Scan the control center. <laughs> Uh, you can't see from down there, Fox? I don't think I even have a face, Falco. These legs beat going fast, though. I'll tell you mm -hmm. that much. I can't stand to see Fox like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! What the? Ah! Ah! Remote control tank. Why is the tank shooting on its own? I mean, I'm very much okay with this. That that seems like a cool feature for Star Fox. And now I'm on top of it. <laughs> hey, Nintendo, you need inspiration? Random need screaming, a, a truly the best. Mechanic. Remote control tank from this corruption stream. Hold left in the analog stick to build up spin. 
See, this is what I'm saying for Star Fox Innovation. The spin wing, it's an R wing that spins so fast that the lasers charge up like a yeah. fucking rail gun. Fox, look at that. It's horrible. Fox. Yes, it is. Look and at it's that. not. Oh, <laughs> it's horrible. Oh. Fox, look at that. <laughs> it's horrible. Fox, look at that. Get it away. It's horrible. Was Slippy wearing Fox's skin? Oh. Fox, I have terminal eight. Oh no. <laughs> ADG. Just watching this, and then oh we're gonna do a I'm little more art buttons. today. I'm, I'm shuffling. And How you doing? Hope you're having right a good day. It just, it just broke it. I may have gone too far in a few places. Working Fox, on. My look at that. Reading of. It's too quiet. The watching the. Nope. Uh, the the corn. It's very the, the head can now kind of move. <laughs> it's happening here though. This is like just paintball mode in any other game, or like um, Torox disco mode. Let's play Splatoon. <laughs> Someone said this is Dragon Ball. I have Z not mode. played Ninjala in years. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I think maybe I'll play right. it this Thursday. Loud equals powerful. I I am a variety streamer. Oh, I play loud. whatever the whims are. <laughs> Why are, there, uh, why are there so many slippies? Which one is the right slippy? Hey, I want to be, I want to be chill, Wait, okay? Am I, am I able to <laughs> kill the slippies? You saved Slippy from himself. Well, thank God. Don't you idiots know this is part of Lord O'Donnell's <laughs> All right. Hey, who let you in? We're stopping what in. Did that say? Hey, who let you in? <laughs> this is the Star Fox. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought that that was an actual part of the dialogue. It's not. Oh, you know. Careful, Fox. Ah. Me too, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, you too. There was two of them exactly. That must be where the Aperoid came from. Maybe we should use it to make our Use your eyes to look there, too. Fox. With the path of any indication. Look with your special eyes. So easily corruptible. My brand. Here's the final star. Fox <laughs> I like you, your friends. Aw, I'm glad. Please we look at the Wii U game. <laughs> That's really good. I just noticed that this is actually Star Fox Zero in its approach. <laughs> All right. The name of this one is Faulty Cards. stopping in. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, these are good cards. Thursday. Oh, All shit. right. <laughs> Bonus time. <laughs> it's off to a good start. <laughs> I would play a game like this where it just fucking blasts you onto the circuit. Is this how you drive in real life? Ask Joel. He'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Select a car. Oh, I don't you know. know. Do you choose, like, burnt corpse of a car? <coughs> or do you choose burnt corpse of a car? Three, two, <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Honestly, I think the laughing is what makes me laugh harder on this. This is great. It's beautiful. Wow, we all explode at the same time. Just jumping. Checkpoint! Listen, wow, if cars jumped suck. around like that, I like how we'd probably have a lot more whiplash. That watch me that don't even know who Jay Leno is, other than he's not funny and he talks about cars. <laughs> oh, uh, you made a game called San Francisco Rush. Why is it that everybody rushes to fucking explode? Hey, how that? could he say something like the controversial yet right? brave? The carburetor right broken? You like cars? Yeah. What's the name of this game? How about something completely different? Sonic 3. Super Sh Shazan. That's what they call him. Super Shazan Sonic. Sorry, gotta go. Goodbye, no. Knuckles died, and the gems left a hole in the fucking walls. How is Ildris Elbow going to voice... <laughs> Knuckles now. But what if hey, Idris Elba, being it was a funny movie. consummate actor he I is, appreciated decides it. to put on a Knuckles suit? I think it like, did better than the like, first I one. I want to do this. I've been playing Sonic since I was a young lad. I want to do this. I want to get inside the Knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> that was Idris Elba. Oh, yes. As Knuckles in a small Knuckle fursuit. <laughs> Thanks. Good.
Someone else I watch, uh, Jimmy Wetzel got a Sonic Why is Knuckles green? fursuit With a blue of sorts. Who's this it's like a really cursed, like really cheap one. Oh, it's no, it uh, Vinny the a lot. Oh no. <laughs> Sonic turns pink and dies. We did it. Godzilla, oh, yes. monster of monsters. In 2XXX, there were always cowards in video game stories. They didn't want to say exactly when. But Probably it could be 50 years, it could be 500. The world will collapse. Oh, wait. Godzilla <laughs> yeah, looks very years. Hey, you don't have to point it out, punk. Stiff during these animations. I swear to God, if there's a Godzilla fetish, Fucking stop. Just stop. <laughs> it's okay, we're just vibing. I don't know. Doing whatever we want. If people want to stop by, that's fine. This is insane. I don't know what's if happening. If they don't, that's also okay. There's just something so <laughs> magical for when you do any no S and numbers just appear on the screen, and I don't know why. And that's where the underlying matrix of video games starts to, like, show itself. Okay, unstable as hell. Strange and a bit Blech. scary. Alright. No, this isn't unstable or scary. This is this is normal. Castlevania Bloodlines by Maya. <laughs> Wait, that was the intro. I so much mission. Bastard sleeps. Skip into the the Smash Bros. Why not? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Bring my numbers will destroy your mood. Precisely. <laughs> Why are they looking at the screen? Plus, also, I think Twitch is a little uh, janky with how it keeps oh, track oh of that God. stuff. Samus is just busted, just straight up busted. Like, goodbye, Samus. Underwater oh man, Smash Adventure. Bros. Melee. Wow. The good stuff. Everyone here is broken, and I don't mean the audience. Maybe a little bit. I had a I good amount of this, to, to and then my sister. Uh, interesting things. Underwater. Oh. What am I trying to say? Uh, I I always so wanted to play underwater. this game, but. I was like just down. better than Determined my family, <laughs> so they never wanted to play with me. Oh my gosh! On a rocket? Oh no! Some kind? Oh no! Oh no! It's no, that's an upside down. Um, but then my sister liked Soul Calibur more. I thought Tingle was. So we also played some of that one with Link. Pardon me. Okay, see ya. No. I'm gonna leave now. This is a brand tiny stadium. Only true melee. Pros and masters play on this stage. Any other stage, and you're a poser. Sorry. <laughs> Look at those beautiful hitboxes. Sakurai vision. <laughs> <laughs> hitboxes revealed. Are you telling me that Falco's top feather isn't fully hitbox? Wow, I properly? can't believe it. This and game is drink. Play this game and not the new ones. Kirby's hitbox is a square. <laughs> oh my god. Low fidelity. Yo. Yes! So yes! Said, oh, Literally the unplayable. Ideals. Exactly, you know? <laughs> Can't believe they wouldn't account Why for Yoshi that. Big Yoshi peanut allergy? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, poor Yoshi. <laughs> so sad. Yoshi poison ivy challenge oh, no. didn't go so great. The oh, I feel so bad when I see pictures of, of dogs that have been ivy stung and it's just poorly for Yoshi. All, all puffy like Good that. Thing, he's poor things. Now for about three days. Survival. There's Yoshi noise slow down. Yes. A continuation of the, the oh slow no. noises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Crate is like almost T-posing. Do we need a T-posing Crate emote now? <laughs> the name of this corruption is this will be Melee in 2014. Man, 2014, <laughs> the world is going to look so weird. We may even have flying cars by then. No music. <laughs> Speedrunner Mario, here we go. Let's go. I had it Dead. for a second. <laughs> Game, go! It's too soon. <laughs> I, I like, uh. Is Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario. breaking his arm repeatedly. <laughs> oh, he's a doctor, he can fix it if he needs exactly. to. Exactly. Speaking of broken arms. Go. Oh. I mean, that that's a good <laughs> thumbnail. Oh, poor Luigi can't fucking live. Oh, no, no, no one can. Never mind. He's doing his best. I think the Cat and Falcon is about the best fingers. one. Mario, please help! I'm in the sky! I'm stuck! 
No, you're not, Luigi. You got stuck. Oh, stanky you leg. You can't, Mario. I'm fucking stuck. The gravity, it doesn't work. <laughs> the only way Mario can save his brother is if he self sacrifices. And that's corruption stockpile. Beautiful. Some really fucking good ones in there. And I can tell you that there's going to be even more interesting things on the horizon. We'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah, I hope, uh, hope it was fun. And thank you, everybody, that um, submitted corruptions and uh, also vetted the corruptions. <laughs> this is your Super NES on 70,000 blast units. You like clown vomit? Hey, tell me, uh, Colin, do you like clown vomit? I know you do. I know you do. I do too. I do too. <laughs> Rip. All right. Let's see. This screen. Again. Maybe? Yeah. Background music. There we go. Okay. And now time to draw more. <laughs> oh, I will I will swap my hat back since we're not being, you know, ultimate pro gamers with a uh, fish. Oh, which That's what it says on the hat. <laughs> Learning so much. That. Get bigger. Yay. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Your artiste again. Pull some stuff around because oh my gosh, it's too much going on here. Goodness, bonk. We got this and this, and oh my gosh, things. There we go. Alrighty, there we go. All right. Can't do with this on the other side. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna doodle random stuff. Not actually drawing, rather than like looking. Art glove goes on. What to draw? The real question. To do. Hmm. Maybe I'll just draw some of. <laughs> I don't know. Why not? I can try to, uh, cent not center, I can try and, uh, focus the, uh, the anime look instead of my usual chibi. I used to draw more anime, and I, I don't know, I like my weird cartoon style a lot. <laughs> Just a bit more unique. Real question is who is this gonna be? <laughs> I think 
This one's gonna be a 12. Probably. It's a, she's a fairy. I don't know. She Probably based off of it. Just uh, aesthetically, but then I don't know. I don't know if she really has a personality. I'm not most uh, up and up on that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, I like character design, but I don't really follow through much further than that. Everything kind of falls not flat, but like not super uh, deep. Once in a while, I like. I, I still use Tumblr because I am a uner. Um, <laughs> a unicorn boomer. Um, but there's like this one that's like confessions for like BJD stuff. And someone was like, I, I find it weird when, you know, the neck is the same thickness as like the head. And it's like, well, in real life, that is the case. But at least in anime, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> You know, unrealistic body proportions all around. One Piece is one of the ones that's just gotten even more uh, unrealistic over time. And it's like, it's not like cartoons have to be realistic or anything. Obviously not. It's just like the difference between like how, how the guys and the girls are... Uh, drawn gets a bit a bit much at least to me I don't know still want to catch up on one piece at some point but I am significantly behind <laughs> it, it would be an endeavor that I'd have to actually pay attention to not pay attention to I mean obviously you'd pay attention you're reading <laughs> Yeah, I think she just had like a, a fairly basic. He sleep of doom. Hmm. Sitting right. I don't draw anime too much because I'm too lazy to do like the the intricate details that are like actually important. <laughs> Whereas I can get away with not if I'm just scribbling something out, you know. She's literally like sitting on my TV behind me, but you know, heaven forbid I look backwards. <laughs> We're drawn from memory. I, draw, I could try drawing random characters from memory too, why not? Probably be a bit more recognizable at least. Damn. What's the hell? What that hand doing? Thank you, my friend. Fixed. <laughs> Perspective. Beautiful. Sparkles. 
He does have magic, I guess. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Ready. See here. Yeah. Let's see here. Games list. I don't see the actual ones. I don't I don't want to see the images. I just want to see like Here we go. No. -uh. Minimum 1. Maximum, oh gosh, how many? How many are we up to at this point? Uh, 905. I don't know all of them. <laughs> but we can have it all on there. Alrighty. 188. 88 is Skip Loom. I actually vaguely know that one. Hooray. Okay. Do this. this stuff. On the screen. Ugh. Oh, to have 15 screens and not an apartment with, like, wiring. <laughs> it's all good. I don't know. I really can't complain about this place. I just about like overloading the circuits because every once in a while something happens. It's probably mostly due to heat, but I know I've also just like stuff. All right, Skip Loom. Skip Loom is second one. Doesn't help me too much. I, I think Jump Pluff is the one where it's like the, the three sprout thingies. And it's happy. Then, uh, pop it. You know, I th skip loop. Skip loom is green. <laughs> Very astute, I know. I think it's just it's just an orb with a flower on top. Think. Who knows if it has a kitty face? Who knows? Oop, oop, oop. So to be able to draw in Pokemon style. <laughs> Uh, they're bigger. Yeah, yeah, it just looks like it's tongues. <laughs> it's blit, blit, blit. Blit, blit. And then, uh, does it have stuff? We don't know. Appendages, maybe. And then, like, a very realistic. <laughs> Let's make it cursed. Uh. <laughs> yeah. 
un point. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah. Luckily, jump off is simple. Or skip loom. Skip loom! Fun. Oh no. Okay. I have too many keyboards right now. <laughs> Trying to remember which one. Okay. Locked in here. I, I just have two right now because one is for uh, this screen and then one is for my actual computer. I, I'm using a tablet. <laughs> I, I am not intentionally a keyboard enthusiast. I just have multiple. Let's see here. You know what? We can just... There. Skip one. <laughs> It wasn't too far off. Not terrible. But definitely not correct. <laughs> I was right that it had feet, though. Yeah. Alright. Battle. Next. 896. Oh, this is gonna be one that I don't know. Astrier? Oh, it's the horse. It's the horse. The ice horse from the DLC of Sword Shield. Uh, I might be able to do this. I did actually play that DLC. I liked Sword and Shield a lot. <laughs> uh, there's no way I'm getting the fancy details on it, though. A unicorn, it might just be a horse, but too bad. Like spiky hair, who knows? Angry. Uh horse shape. This is a horse shape. Sword shield was neat. Yeah, I know it got like panned by a lot of people, but I thought it was cool. I liked it a lot. Ice hooves. Something like this. Oh wait, I should be doing this on a different layer. Here. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Easy as that. So then I can scoot it around without having to worry about the. Yeah. Alright. This is not a good horse, but I never said that I was good at that. I might be able to draw my little pony horse, but that's about it. And gosh, what does a tail look like? I get why people were disappointed. They were probably expecting something. Console. Yeah. And considering like how good other Switch games looked, I can see where the expectations were. Um, but yeah, uh, Game Freak just was not there. Because <laughs> of course they weren't. I don't know. Just a pin. Just a pin. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm hoping that the new one uh, brings a bit more. Fingers crossed, you know. Be able to 
just a tad spiky. <laughs> um, ice elements. Ice. Not a, a snowflake deep dark. <laughs> Legend to help go build on that style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arceus was real fun. I liked that one quite a bit. I I binged it for like a good couple weeks, and then did pretty much everything, and then haven't touched it since. But that's just because there's too many games all the time. I'm definitely missing design. <laughs> mm. Anything else to add before we reveal? Um, he's got like a like a like a six pack, you know. He's got abs for days. Just huh, huh, huh. Crack. and then like muscles. Big ol' big ol' bodybuilder muscles. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. I'm definitely missing stuff. Horse ear. Time to rip the band-aid off, I think. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to add to this. Okay. Okay, well. Doesn't super far off. Gosh. Oh no, things are getting crusty. <laughs> uh you know. It's got the spirit, right? Basically the same thing, am I right? I think the real one has a cutie mark though. Shh, that's our secret. <laughs> I, I messed up the tail a bit, and I didn't realize that it had a helmet. Basically, helmet. There, ice helmet. Also, not quite a unit. Great, it's beautiful. A work of art, truly. All horse. Hey. Hey. A couple more of these. Gosh, that one's really hard to see. Let's fix that. We go. Now it can be seen for how poor it is. <laughs> no. Sections in like a different color. Here's. There we go. No cutie mark. <laughs> Perfect. But on the wrong layer, of course. There we go. Then the tail is kind of like that. There we go. <laughs> Surely that's all that needed to be different. Also, it's got like layers. There we go. We're learning, truly. But, hey.
another number. Six. Frog a deer. I kind of know this one. <laughs> I kind of know a lot. But will that be enough? Let's see here. It's a frog. Second one. So it's not Green Ninja. It's just like Baby Ninja. Eyes are up top. <laughs> That's how frogs look. Like a Sonic OC. Got a whole bunch of like bubble things. I think this is Froaky <laughs> so far. Um, I never played. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is Gen Six. I I chose uh, Fennekin. <laughs> That's why I don't know this one too well. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know what? We're wiping this. We're starting over. I think I can make a better frog. <laughs> Here. Never got too far in XY. I think I completed it, or at least like the, the main story and I didn't do anything like post-game. Gosh, it, it's been forever and it wasn't one of my favorites, so I didn't really do too much in it. I didn't play um, Sun Moon because XY was kind of a burnout for me. But, I don't know. I, I hear that Sun Moon was good though, so it's kind of a bummer that I missed it. Um, plus the starters were very cute. But, um, the breaks. <laughs> Hermit eyes. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of went through like two Pokemon phases, I guess. One was back in like high school when I got a DS. We played the Ultra version, but it was pretty fun. That's good. Glad that it was fun. Um, yeah, so I, I played. Oh, but, 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 uh, what was the first one that I played? Uh, Soul Silver was the first one that I played. And I, I got pretty hooked on that one. A ninja Star for the frog. You know, he's a ninja. It's kind of. It out. Um, and then I played Platinum, which I liked quite a bit, and I do have a soft spot, soft spot for Gen 4 just because that was the main ones that I played. Um, that got me, like, into Pokemon. But I didn't- I don't know. Uh, Gen 5 was also really good. I liked Unova a lot. It was a very fun one, and I don't know. I don't think it was underrated. I think it was about rated properly, but maybe some people rag on it just because they were like really into Gen 4. I don't know. I, I get like, I feel like 5 is kind of forgotten a little bit, but it was so good. Um, and then, yeah, Gen 6. I kind of played, but kind of fell off on, and then I picked it back up for 8 uh, with Sword and Shield. And I liked that one quite a bit, and same with Arceus, and I hope that they, like, actually try and, you know, keep doing better. <laughs> Do better, Game Freak! Do better! No. Anyway, um... Give him some ruffles, I don't know. I know the general idea. 
Um, it's perfect. <laughs> Never got the impression people dislike Gen 5. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's... I feel like there are people that do, but at the same time, like, I just, I'm not on the pulse of Pokemon, so if people liked it, that's perfect, because it was good, and it deserved to be liked. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think it's a controversial thing to say that. Let's see. Mm. Time for the reveal. I think I did perfect. You know what? I think we did. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it's the same Pokemon, don't you know? Yeah, just in case the different dimensions, but yeah. Ta da! Gorgeous. Yes, thank you. I know, I am artiste. <laughs> Scoot him down. Uh, gosh, yeah. How can you even uh fix this? It is perfection. I mean, it's doing like the same pose and everything. Guess he's got got uh ear type things. I I don't know what to count those as. Dots. Kind of like a two-tone palette. I mean, I got I got the the fluff. It goes back a little bit further though. <laughs> the feet are just like toad. Just a little cursed when you think about it. Um, and it's got like gloves, not. Flush like that. Gloves with dots on them. I love Mewtwo. <laughs> Alright. There we go. A perfect Froakie. A Frogadier. <laughs> I know Pokemon. Okay. It's obviously, you know, seven. Uh, do I know this one off the top of my head before even looking? Uh, let's see here, the Bulbasaur line. Is this Charmander? Squirtle. Okay, I forgot which one went first. I knew Bulbasaur was number one, but I forget whether Charmander or Squirtle went next. Okay, Squirtle, the baby. Portal is just a happy little turtle guy. Like very anime eyes. If I didn't really play the first gen of games, I know these guys. I watched the anime. <laughs> Or is it like this kind, you know? I think it's these. Perfect, beautiful. Gremlin. Oh, oh, the music is struggling. Please, please stop. Probably gonna have to call it soon-ish. We can do a couple more of these uh, before things get real wonky. The tail, and then, you know, the back of the shell, of course. Um, this probably curves a bit more, because, you know, three-dimensional objects. But, you know, psh. <laughs> 2D anime, people. Am I right? It... 
Is that it? Is that all? I want to give him ears, but he doesn't. Uh, I think this is it. <laughs> He's just a turtle. That stands on two legs. He's just a little guy. Oh, I forgot. The tail. I mean, of them bad though, not too far off. Yeah, just a little guy. See? <laughs> Simple and good. Simple and clean. Pushy. Hmm. Legs are just a bit more stumpy. And then they don't have these kinds of flap flap flops. Flap flap flap. The eyes are also bigger and cuter. The mouth is also. Perfect. He drew a squirtle. You know, the shell is also slightly different uh, style. Duh. <laughs> it looks very Macho Man. Alright. Perfect. <laughs> it's a little guy. Who's going to be next? Who's the next victim for my lazy drawings? 51. That one... Mew? No, no, that's 150. Or 150. 51 is... Uh, Doug Trio. Ooh. See? I, I say, uh... Not knowing if it is actually easy, but, I mean... Doug Trio. Does it have a mean face? I don't remember if it does. Ovals. Ovals everywhere. Then, you know, below the surface, it's, it's three buff guys holding each other. You know, that's definitely canon. Booty. <laughs> it's beautiful. Muscle. Muscle. Abs and pecs. <laughs> Alright. Man. Man, Gen 1 was so simple. What happened? I'm kidding. <laughs> Over designing happened. Not over designing, just you gotta get more complex, I guess. Once you've done all the easy stuff. I don't think I even really need to look, but uh, no trio. I could have done the alone lin one. Anyway. Spot on, perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Together forever. <laughs> like two more of these. Those those last two were like too easy. Uh, 
Impidimp. Impidimp's fun. They're just a little, a little creature. A little, little guy. For this part, he's got like little... I forget how the mouth goes. Whether it's like... It's definitely a tongue, right? Something like that. <laughs> it's just just a gremlin. Isn't it like a half and half color scheme? Ugh, I forget how the colors go. <laughs> Tail. Uh, what did what did the body look like? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, struggle. We'll just do that. <laughs> half and half, like pink on one side and black on the other, I think. Something like that. I remember the, the, the colors, but not like where they go. Before I look. Thanks. 90% sure. Okay. Okay. I was missing a very important aspect. The nose. <laughs> the nose. Zoom it. First of all, Musk. Instead of I thought it had like a an axe looking thing. It's just giant ears and there's like a, a ring behind it have two and are they on the head? I need like a, a 3D. <laughs> Impidimp. I need the back side. Why? Why? Why can't you show me the back side? <laughs> to be safe. <laughs> Not showing that on stream. Nothing show the backside. Oh my gosh. It's just one. At least according to this image, it's just just the one. That's cute then. Back that one and this thing. A wingling. Needs to be a little rounder and a little more cartoony. Also no tail. Just 
Reminds me of like a cartoon from like the 50s or 30s even. I'm gonna say look at the back sprite, but then I realized there's a Gen 8. Yeah, no, unfortunately there are no back sprites uh, to be viewed. Um, that's what I was looking at first. <laughs> but yeah. Gosh dang it. Pokemon, why you do this? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Scoot him up there. Um, in all of its uh, revised glory. Oh no, I drew them on the same layer. Um, let's see. Make this easy. Go. Perfect. Beautiful. The little gremlin. It's Chespin's evolution. Um, this one's another orb. <laughs> I think I remember this one better. Just a little like hedgehog guy, and he's got snout. Arms. So what kind of feet? I don't know. I might be also confusing it with, uh, what is it, Togedemaru? I think that's the name of it, but I'm like 90% sure it's just an orb with spikes, right? <laughs> Beautiful. He's just a happy little guy. Do you have a tummy? You might have a tummy. We'll give him a tummy just to make him look cooler. <laughs> spikes, 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 spikes. Then he becomes like that, that really big one. That's a really cool thing. Uh, uh, no, what am I even saying? I'm um, just a bigger, cooler, porcupine-like dude. Um... This was too quick. <laughs> Be fair, these are just really jokey. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, basically right, right? <laughs> no stomach. Let's see here. Okay. So I, I did remember the teeth and the nose and the eyes and the general shape, but everything else is not great. He's an orb. Uh, only like half. Ugh. Boost of an old. He's got like little squat feet. And then he's got like anti pants. And his tail? Arms. Spikes. Two tone. Beautiful, perfect. Got 
I like Pikachu ears. <laughs> yes. Oh, and also more hair. Go. It's a little guy. Again, I did it. And it's not the end of the world, but also things are so much easier if I just do it right the first time, you know? Okay. Let's finish up this area. We'll do like two or three more. Um, hopefully some of them will be a little more something. 516! Simapur. Okay. It's, it's the monkey, it's the water monkey. The surfer water monkey. Um, the big one. Um, shoot, I might, I might be confusing them a little bit. Let's see here. Got, like, super laid back. And it's got, like, water dreads. And if I remember right, in the, like, official images, it's got, like, a whatever, kind of... Uh, whatchamacallit? Gosh. And monkey enough. It just looks like... Almost a person. <laughs> almost. Uh, we gotta make it more monkey. Belly. And like a, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit? Wobbuffet? Yeah, Wobbuffet. Tail? Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. This is not enough. <laughs> this just looks like thing growth. Do you have thumbs? Probably. It's a monkey. Um. And, and a frying. Because, you know, they're, they're cooking. I don't know. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, do they have, like, a, a this kind of thing? Hmm. Uh, what else would there be? What can make this feel more Gen 5? I don't know. <laughs> uh, hmm. I guess it's, it's time. Dang, if only it was Muna or Musharna. I like those ones. <laughs> I don't like these, but the the simi your sage for whatever's okay. Okay. Definitely confusing it with the baby a bit. A little bit. I wasn't too far off though. <laughs> I say as I was very far off. Let's see here. Boop. Okay. Tail. That the hair is kind of accurate. The ears just need to be like bigger. Uh, 
Um, and doesn't have, like, a, a nose nose, just a little cute that... Um, it's got a cute little dress thingy on, I guess. Boop. These are a little more bouncy, I guess, <laughs> for lack of better wording. Closer to like a water fountain, I guess. Beautiful. And then just regular hands. Regular. Hands. A little unnerving on a Pokemon, you know? Just a little. Um, we'll have it hold the pan still. Because, you know, that's a very uh, important artistic decision. Perfect. Genius. Also, the legs are cuter and rounder. Something like that. <laughs> Isn't actually leaning down, though. But, you know, gremlin stance. You gotta assume the gremlin stance. Happy monkey. Happy. Happy. There we go. Oh, I see. And then also... That. Happy little guy. Beautiful. <laughs> Here we go. How many water types? My heavens. Uh, I'm afraid of getting a legendary though. I do not know my legendaries as shown very clearly by the horse. <laughs> Glaceon to 46. Rianny. Uh, hmm. Gen 7. I, I think. I'm trying to. I think it's. I think I know which one it is. It's. Its evolved form is the one that's like the little. little guy in the, uh. this. <laughs> um, but it's not quite that. It's- it's the baby form. I just forget how how much hair algae stuff it has. Um hmm, hmm, I really haven't seen this one too much, gosh dang. It's got a, a snarky face. Thing. Um thing is like the hair stuff. How 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 long? How much? <laughs> I 
Just make it something entirely not Pokemon. Um... Yeah, I think... Like, that kinda, doesn't it? I don't know, blob? We'll, we'll pretend it's a blob, yeah? Oh gosh, it's absolutely wrong. <laughs> it's not correct. And a claws. It actually has fingers. Um, does it have feet? Hmm, the real question. <laughs> Ain't any reveal thyself. Uh, I mean, okay. Okay. I think it's like the exact same thing, right? Right? It's it's identical. <laughs> identical. They're twins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. <laughs> no. All right. Well, let's see here. We we got thorns. Then the, the hair thingies that aren't hair are longer, and it's got like Ugh. you know, I was actually gonna put little spikes on the ends, and I thought that would look weird. <laughs> Pokemon was like, "No, we're going for it." Longer, not like a. Flowery. Um, it, its face is a little more, uh, sad than sassy. Got uh, three cute teeth. There we go. And then I wasn't too far- <laughs> I say I wasn't too far off. I mean, it, it's a blob. It's a blob. There. Uh, these... Then I'm gonna forget these the- moment that I, like, close this file. <laughs> it's okay, though. Tired eyes. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you know what? Instead of doing a random one, I'm gonna draw a Manaphy, because it's my baby. And I think that's probably where I will end this off. Um, let's- we'll do a- a memory Manaphy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. He is my favorite. There's one spot on Manaphy that I always forget which order it is. Ooh. No. <laughs> or one. 
but when I was playing, uh, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, platinum, you're supposed to get like a an entry in the Pokédex for Manaphy um, from some book. Which, first of all, that's like the only time that like that's ever a thing. I feel like, or I think. But just like the fact that you have to do that in order to get the, the uh. Howdy, Eddie. How you doing? Thanks for saying hi. Oh, I need to... How you doing? I'm just pulling down from stream by drawing a whole bunch of random Pokemon from memory. <laughs> and as you can tell, they were perfect on the first go and definitely did not need corrections. Saying, um, yeah. I got really mad because I didn't know what I was supposed to- that I was supposed to get Manaphy for the Pokédex. Normal day. Yeah, good, good, good. I'm glad at least normal is better than not. <laughs> um, I, I actually, like, wrote in to, like, the Pokémon company's support, or, like, Nintendo support, being like, I can't finish the Pokédex because I don't have Arceus. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so frustrated. And then, like, they never responded because, of course, they wouldn't. That's, like, a nothing complaint. Um, and then I later learned by looking it up online what I was actually supposed to do. But just in that moment of pure, like, baby rage. <laughs> Whoops. I became a Karen. A Unicaren. Oh, gosh, these walleyes. <laughs> Gosh, need to do justice to the baby. Um, we're gonna we're gonna sharpen up these lines a bit. <laughs> Still not great, but at least they're smooth. They're actually. I always draw them to the side like that, but they're actually, like, up here. <laughs> I don't know how I got into that habit. Not like I draw Manaphy a ton, though. But I should know better. Enough. <laughs> Then the arms, the jelly arms. The thing about Manaphy is just jelly. Then this is the part that I always forget. Is it big gem, little gem, or is it little or is it little gem, big gem? Um I don't know. It's gonna do it this way. <laughs> Pretend it's correct, you know? Tiny, because it's basically just a jelly. <laughs> and voila, there's a man of you. Beautiful. What am I drawing? I'm drawing man of you. This one's man of you. I'm just drawing a whole bunch of random Pokemon, though. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, as you can see, perfect drawings. Um, every time I did... Scroll on the thingy, not the whole screen. Anyway, we got a. Uh, ba da ba da ba. We got Impidimp. We got. Uh, shoot, what is this one? Um, the the middle form of. Uh, the hedgehog guy from Gen Six. Um. Should have written them down. Chestaquiladin. Quilladin. Yeah. That guy. And then we got, uh... Simi... Poor? Uh, yeah, Simi Poor. The, the water monkey evolution. 
And then Mary Annie, I think is this one. Um, the... Whatchamacallit? Uh, anemone type, whatever. And we got, uh, Biblically Accurate Doug Trio. <laughs> um, and Squirtle and... Frogadier? Yeah, Frogadier, the second evolution. And then the, uh... Glacier horse thing from, uh, Gen 8 DLC. The ice horse. Um... Uh, Glastrier. And then we got a little, uh... Pop up bloom, jump bloom. Skip bloom, I think. Second evolution. <laughs> And yeah, there's Vanifi, the beautiful baby. Whoop. Over here, I'll compare. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, listen, I, I can talk about Pokemon. Alrighty. Manaphy. Reveal. <laughs> I got the gems backwards. Everything else is basically normal, though, right? <laughs> Let's see. Just big gem up top, little gem on bottom. That's Manaphy. <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't really have much else. To do today <laughs> uh as far as like i don't know i can't think of anything else i want to stream right now um i might as well or i guess here who should we raid anyone have an idea will let me know did you draw all it's okay every all art starts somewhere you know let's see here and yeah i definitely uh, have been drawing for literal ages, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a while. And even then, like, I'm not saying this is, like, you know, the pinnacle of art or anything. These are definitely just scribbles. <laughs> but yeah, one can art as they believe and keep practicing. Well, oh, did not mean to send everyone into the abyss. All right, let's see here. I've been... Being goofy. Okay. Should we raid? Um, Avir is playing Symphony of War. Let's see if anyone is doing just art. I guess I should. We got <laughs> bunch of fun stuff. There's me. <laughs> but then they added more. Cards. Oh no, they're doing a, a live two. It looks like video card. Um. Banner, but Avatar looks really cute. We'll jump in there. <laughs> Why not? Wait. Okay. Yeah. Shall I say hi to them? Level 51. Yeah. Watch everyone for hanging out. <laughs> Thanks for letting me just do whatever. Um, oh. always fun. I enjoy these. Uh, yes. That. And then, let's see here, Thursday. I'll play more Ninjala. Uh, we'll see what we're feeling, but probably that. Why not? It It's fine. 
you know, I am a unicorn of the people, so if they demand Ninjala, I shall play. <laughs> um, and then I think Sunday's stream is gonna have to be scooched to Monday, maybe. So you came in late, no worries. Anytime you hang out is enough. <laughs> it's all good. Um, yeah, Sundays will probably be scooched to like early Monday. Um, because Monday I usually hang out with my family. But I also don't want to not stream, you know? <laughs> so that's the plan. I don't know what I'll do on Monday. Probably not something super long. Um, just because I have other stuff I need to do during the day. But we can we can fit something in there, maybe. Um, yeah. I don't know. Keep your eye on Twitter for that, I suppose. Uh, until then... We'll see you all on Thursday. Message if you aren't subscribed. Are feel free to copy whichever one you can or want to. <laughs> just know that if you're not subscribed, it's just going to be words like stream elements. Um, but yeah, I will see everyone Thursday. Thank you so much. Bye.